Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. How's everyone doing? All right. All right. On behalf of Jazz Lincoln Center, we welcome everyone to Dizzy's. We're about to hear some great music by some wonderful artists. Just a few house rules, just to be mindful of the conversations at the table so we can all go on this musical journey together. No recording or flash photography at all. So please help me welcome on the drums, Joe Farnsworth. Joe Farnsworth. On the bass, Nat Reeves. Nat Reeves. On the piano, William Henderson. That's right. And on the saxophone, let's give a Dizzy's Club Coca Cola welcome to Pharaoh Sanders.
Good evening. How are you? Hi. Wonderful looking crowd. Beautiful.
Let's give it up for Pharaoh Sanders, William Henderson on the piano, Nat Reeves on the bass, Joe Farnsworth on the drums, Pharaoh Sanders on the sax. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming to Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola. Pearl Sandals will be performing through tomorrow evening, so if you're around, come back and join us. We have so many wonderful artists performing here at Dizzy's Club Coca-Cola and the Rose Theater across the hall in the Appel Room. You can go to our website at jazz.org and see who's performing here at Jazz Lincoln Center. A lot of wonderful artists. Thank you again for coming to Dizzy's. Hopefully, we'll see you all very soon. Take care of each other. Definitely stay warm and have a good night. Joan, you know we miss you. It's nice not the same without you being here. You know you've been with us from the very, very beginning. We want to make this film for you to have something to check out. Hey, Joan, this is Walter Blandy. Love you very much. The most memorable thing about you is your bun. The bun in your head is so cute that when you got your hair up in a bun, I miss your smile. You always have such a beautiful spirit. This is Sherman. Now, you know it's not right, me looking out in the audience look out there and not see you out there. Your smiling face, looking up, you know, with that look of expectation, saying, y'all gonna make me swing today, right? This is Carlos. How you doing, John? Um, I just want to say uh, you're special to us, to me. Uh, I miss seeing you up there. Those seats will never be ever refilled. You know that. I hope everything's well. I hope we get to see you soon. We love you. This is Victor. I hope you're doing well. It's been a little while now, but you're always in our hearts over here at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Plainly put, Joan is jazz and jazz is Joan. And we appreciate your participation in this experiment that we started with that has become Jazz at Lincoln Center. And we're gonna come up there and visit you and vibe with you and play some of that good music with you and make you laugh and have a good time. Uh, much love and respect always. Thank you. <laughs> I heard jazz around me when I was a kid, you know, a little kitty. It just came to me as part of uh, the world. Joan's one of those people that made it like playing for your family when you saw her out in the front audience. When you played and she was there, it put you on a, a vibe. Joan, you've been with us from the very, very beginning. And you always bring soul and feeling, always so warm to everybody. And we're gonna come up there and visit you and vibe with you. Hi, Rose. This is Joan, Hi. Aunt Joan. Please come in. I'm so last pleasure nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Of course, we have a little jazz playing because, you know, that's part of what we do. I'm gonna give you this one. You like this? Yeah, that's great. The Jazz Orchestra came into Bennington, Vermont, where we lived, which is a little town. So I went. I was in heaven. When they came into the city, well, because I went so early, 
I was in the front row, so when they came on the stage, they were right there. And I was the first customer they had. When you were as close to, the, to them when they were playing, you can feel that vibration. Joan, since you've been coming to Jazz at Lincoln Center for all these years, we wanted to bring the music to you. And this iPad is a gift from us to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Those seats will never be ever refilled. You know that. Hey, Joan, this is Walter Blandy. <laughs> Love you very much. The most memorable thing about you is the bun of your head. It's so cute. And you give a lot of warmth with your energy and your smile. And it was always so nice to see you. We appreciate your participation in this experiment that we started with that has become Jazz at Lincoln Center. We have you with us wherever you are. You always have a seat. Oh. You always have a seat in my heart. You can watch our live webcasts anywhere you are. Two people get a Look piece of us tonight. We'll have a good old time with that. Music brings you to many places. It can give you a great deal of pleasure. There is only one Jazz at Lincoln Center, and I don't know how to express it in any other way. I was home when I was there, that's all. Jazz is a freedom of the spirit. It's the best way that I have to express what I'm feeling at the moment. A world of freedom, a world of many solutions. When you walk out your door in New York or whatever city you live in, that's jazz. You see life, you see energy, and to me that's what jazz is. We can make a difference through the things that we're connected by. And music is a connection. The orchestra went to Cuba for nine days in October 2010. There's only been three successful organized trips of music uh, on this large scale that has been in Cuba from the United States. It takes a lot to be able to make it happen. To get through the paperwork, just to be able to go, takes months small things. For example, we brought a hundred light bulbs because getting a light bulb is, is a problem. We brought uh, the platforms. We brought the, the Marley. But there's no Kinkos to get things copied. So every time they do a show, they have to do everything by hand. So just even putting this in front of the theater, there's like two or three of them. We did this by hand. Most of the infrastructure has been made before 1959. So a lot of things need repair. We came up with a theater that worked great there called the Melia Theater that seats between 1,300 and 1,500 and was a collaborative effort from many organizations in Cuba. We changed that theater from something that looked dingy into something that what it could be. Citizens that do not have the access to the internet, television, things that are usually banned or hard to get. They were very up to date about who musicians were. All over Havana, there was a buzz that we were there. Word of mouth spreads in a city that's two million people. We could have filled a theater that was 3,000 people. The first day there was lines of people trying to get in. It was, it was, it was just a mob scene because the people wanted to have the tickets. It was that hot. It's probably the best crowd I've ever witnessed in my life. It was something important to them and they had a lot of passion for what we were doing. And when you listen to the shows, you can hear it in the music from the band, how they played, they could feel it. The Cubic Tour consisted of five dates that was at the Media Theater. Also, we worked with four different schools. We went to the arts school that's uh, made up uh, from kids from 10 to 18 years old. They did a special program for us. It was not a dry eye in the house. Yeah, that's the best way I see when you look at the exhibit. It's all about the children and the exchange that we have with them, what the uh, patrons going to get from this exhibit. They can find out that Jazz and Lincoln Center, and we're about making change through our music. In this world, we have so many differences. Everyone has such a difference. But the realization is that the music can bring people together. And that's something that we can offer anyone around the world.
the sound of a major and a minor sounding together is the blues. Western music, we have major modes like. I always thought the major is happy and minor is sad. So. Now the blues puts both of them together. The blues is a deep form, you know, 12 months of the year, 12 measures in the blues. Three act play, three sections of the blues. Three fundamental harmonies of Western music. One, four, five, one. That's the blues. Amen cadence in Western music. I could go on and on. So blues is a profound form. There's a story told of a little Japanese sitting demurely neath the cherry blossom trees. Miss Butterfly's her name. A sweet little innocent child was she. Till a fine young American from the sea To her garden came They met beneath the cherry blossoms every day And he taught her how to love the American way to love with her heart was easy to learn. Then he sailed away with a promise to return. The blossoms waiting for butterfly, for she loves him so. The moments passed into hours, the hours passed into years, and while she smiles through her tears. She murmurs low The moon and I Know that he'll be faithful I'm sure he'll come To me by and But if he never comes back, I'll never sigh or cry. I just must die. For <laughs> Thank you. There were two very talented young people that started 
come every week and started to dance, just break out in, in, in the dance. And uh, their name was Jules and JJ. And they would just, just start to move, you know, uh, amongst the audience. Oh, man. So this is how it all happened. We came, sat, I thought it, the vibe was incredible. Met the musicians, met Mike, uh, met the whole crew. I just kind of sat and listened. I think it was the 6th of December. I think that is the, the specific date. I looked at Jimmy and was like, yo, I, we need to move, like now. I said, Jules, like, I want to dance. Like, what if we get up and start dancing? And so he was like, are, are you sure? Do you want to? I was like, yeah, yeah let's do it. And then she said, well, I ain't going to leave you hanging. And I said, okay, let's do it. It, the initial getting up is terrifying, but then once you do get up, it's glorious. <laughs> you know, we, we feel music in a different way, and there, there's a comprehension and appreciation for it, but there's also an impulse, like an impetus to move to it. I sit down, and I start listening, I start seeing people dancing, and then slowly the music starts to move me, and I just get up and I go with it, and it's incredible. Um, you can, you can just get up and express yourself through movement in any way that you want. There's no set way of moving here. It just brings a lot of joy to, to the club. That's, that's what I love about it. Uh, there's this silent movement that's happening right now. It's, it's slowly creeping up and I feel like at some point in time, maybe, maybe in my, hopefully in my lifetime, that it's going to explode and that we get back to the basics of what true music is uh, and get back to what the jazz music does to human beings. It makes us dance, it makes us feel good, it makes us come together as a community. All music has an aspect of God. There's a lot of serious music and jazz is a very serious music, but it has so many aspects. That's what makes it great. It's serious, but it also moves the body. But it also makes you think. But it also touches your soul. A lot of these dancers aren't professional dancers. They're just kind of like, what's the party going on? You know, and that's that's what you want. I mean, you have a club, and of course you want to keep it in a certain context, but the context is always going to be fun. And a good time. Disease is the coolest shishi poo poo place in New York. And because it's the coolest shishi poo poo place, it's not shishi poo poo anymore, which is nice. Joan, you know we miss you. It's not, it's not the same without you being here. You know you've been with us from the very, very beginning. And you always bring soul and feeling, always so warm to everybody. Uh, we we want to make this film for you to have something to check out so that you know that we always remember you and we talk about you and we think about you and that we love you wherever you are. You always have a seat and you always have a seat in my heart. Much love and respect always. Thank you. I heard jazz around me when I was a kid, you know, a little kitty. It just came to me as part of uh, the world. Joan's one of those people that made it like playing for your family when you saw her out in the front audience. When you played and she was there, it put you on a, a vibe. Joan, you've been with us from the very, very beginning. And you always bring soul and feeling, always so warm to everybody. And we're gonna come up there and visit you and vibe with you. Hi, Rose. This is Joan, you know Joan. Please come in. I'm so last pleasure to meet you. Of course, we have a little jazz playing because, you know, that's part of what we do. I'm gonna give you this one. You like this? Yeah, that's great. The Jazz Orchestra came into Bennington, Vermont, where we lived, which is a little town. So I went. I was in heaven. When they came into the city, well, because I went so early, I was in the front row. So when they came on the stage, they were right there. And I was the first customer they had. 
when you were as close to the to them when they're playing, you can feel that vibration. Joan, since you've been coming to Jazz at Lincoln Center for all these years, we wanted to bring the music to you. And this iPad is a gift from us to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Those seats will never be ever refilled. You know that. Hey, Joan, this is Walter Blandy. <laughs> Love you very much. The most memorable thing about you is the bun on your head. It's so cute. And you give a lot of warmth with your energy and your smile. And it was always so nice to see you. We appreciate your participation in this experiment that we started with that has become Jazz at Lincoln Center. We have you with us wherever you are. You always have a seat. Oh. You always have a seat in my heart. You can watch our live webcasts anywhere you are. Two people get a Look piece of us tonight. We'll have a good old time with that. Music brings you to many places. It can give you a great deal of pleasure. There is only one Jazz at Lincoln Center, and I don't know how to express it in any other way. I was home when I was there, that's all.